In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the new JND 404 Campion flower to make a beautiful card and show you a new background technique in there using the fusion inks. So this is the flower when we do it quite simply, and this is the die. And you get the actual flower full stem, and then you get the two separate pieces to add the color onto there. And this one is designed to give you a multi-layer if you want to do that. So I'm going to start by cutting the sections that I need. So here I've got a piece of pink linen card and I'm going to add the flowers on. And you are going to need to cut this just once for a flat flower or twice for a patterned flower. And here I've got a piece of card that I have sprayed using the pistachio and the lemonade Craft Artist Fusion Inks. So we should run those through and cut those. I'll just pop those on my plate and I will run those through a little bit later, but I've got those pieces already cut. So you can see here, we get that beautiful variegated leaf. And here we have, I've got two of the main and two of the smaller flower. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of 3D and color using dragon fruit in the fusion ink pads in gold. So using a dauber, just holding it in the air and flicking the color over the edges just gives it a lovely 3D look, gives it a beautiful little gold edge, lets it stand out against the background. So we're simply going to now take, I'm using glue glaze and I'm going to add a little bit of glue glaze onto the flower heads and I'm going to glue one of these down flat. So you'll see there's an exact match. If you find, I find this side petal is one of the best to find. And again, you can rotate it if you want to add some leaves behind or put it on exactly, which is what I want to do for this one. And although it's a separate die, it fits exactly. And the same with the smaller sort of budded flower here. So putting it on really simply. I'm then going to take the second layer and I'm just using my tweezers. I'm gonna fold each petal over my tweezers just to give me a little bit of 3D. Really very simple and very easy. And you just want to fold each petal up into the center, add a little bit glue in the middle and again, you can match the petals or I'm actually offsetting them completely so that they don't have to match. And it gives me a lovely 3D flower, really simply and easily. And do the same with the other bud. So again, using my tweezers to fold these petals up and out, even down to this little one, and then fold each petal out. Again, little bit of glue in the center of the flower. And we simply add that in. And again, pull those petals up so you're getting a lovely 3D look. Now, obviously we do have the center of the flower. So you could add a dewdrop or a bead or something like that. What I'm going to do is add just a little bead of glue and I'm going to add some of the craft artist pollen in the basic from the basic set, and I'm actually going to use a piece of black. So a little bit of card underneath it, and use a little bit of black pollen, because I think a really strong flower like this really needs that little bit of black. Just take that off and you can see there, we get that beautiful pollen-like sort of black center to it. So that's our flower done. Really easy, really simple. We'll pop that to one side to dry, because now we're going to make our background. So what I've done to do this is I've cut a panel of coconut white card using the die that comes in the garden window set and I'm using my scoreboard here and I'm just simply going to put it against the edge and I'm just going to score random lines. This is an old technique of sort of making like a, almost like a wood grain or an old wood grain but we're going to use the fusion inks. So all I'm doing is some of the lines are coming all of the way. Doesn't matter if you crunch your paper up. And we're just going randomly on there. So hopefully you can see there. If you stick at the back, you can see where we've got those done. And I'm just gonna 
scrunch it a little bit to make a few more little tears in it. And it's simply a case of, I'm using my water media mat so I don't make a mess. And I'm starting with Sunfruit Gold Fusion ink pad. And you must be careful when you're dragging ink pads, you don't want to pull off the top, so be very light. And I'm just dragging it down over the card, really simple. I'm then going to take Kiwi, again from the Gold Fusion range. And I'm putting this on. And again, same idea, just dragging down. Gives it that weathered wood sort of look. And then I finish off by going back on with the sun fruit over the top. And again, just rubbing my pad on. And you'll see you get the white lines where we scored and you get areas where it's darker and lighter. And then because the fusion inks are water reactive, we can take that down and really soften it down. And it'll start to show some of the texture of the card as well. So I'm adding a little bit of water here into one of the trays on my media mat. Just taking a fan brush and flicking the water on. So randomly flicking water on to give me water spots, which will take away some of that intense colour. So there we go. Now what I would do is you leave this for about a minute or so. You don't want to leave it too long, but if we leave it for about a minute or so, you'll notice that the colour is starting to come out into the actual water itself. So the longer you leave it, the more colour that you will bleach out. So taking a piece of tissue or kitchen roll, we simply put that on top and pat off the water. And what that does, you can see, starts to bleach out some of that colour. So we're taking it away. We don't want to give it a sort of slightly more older looking. So we take a spray and we spray, which will give it finer detail and take more little bits away. This sort of meshes it and mashes it about. And again, as we then take the tissue onto that, it takes that colour back. Now, as this dries, it will become more obvious where the water spots are. You see them starting to develop. So here's one mounted on a card that I made a little bit earlier, but you can see there how it's softened it down. So we're going from that, softens down, but we still get that beautiful gold sheen. So I've mounted this onto a five by seven card blank and I've added a layer of pink at four and an eighth by six and an eighth and finished it with a piece of craft card in four and a quarter by six and a quarter onto a nice five by seven card blank. And the white is balanced by the white that's in those lines that we scored. So we're just simply going to take our flower to turn that over and I'm going to use my fine glue applicator. So just add a little blob on each back of the petals and then just some little blobs down the length of the stamen of the flowers and onto the leaves. We place that back in and then we pop that onto the center of our card. which just really, the colours and the fact that we've, we've used variegation really makes the colours pop out of it. I've then cut the medium plant pot from the garden fence set, taking, again, a finger door button, a little bit of VersaFine and Vintage Sepia, go around the edge and make it heavier on one side, which makes it look 3D and a little bit lighter on the other side. I always tend to do this sort of right hand side as that little bit darker. And you can see there, it gives you a 3D pot effect. We simply add a little bit of foam tape on the back of there, peel that off, and we pop it into our pot. And there we have a beautiful card. You can add a little sentiment onto that but just made using a different background technique and making the flower really 3D, as opposed to the flat version that we can do.